Hey guys and welcome back or welcome if you're new here. In today's video, I'm gonna take care of some much needed repairs and chores around my home. Some of these things have been an issue since we bought the house years ago. I feel like my house is going to start looking like it's in disrepair if I don't just put some time aside and get it done already. So let's get into it, shall we? <music> Well, we had some rain one day and we had a leak in our roof. I don't mind all that dirt on there that needs to get cleaned off. We got water stains on the ceiling over here and on this side over here. I saw a video on YouTube showing how if you mix two thirds water with one third bleach and spray the ceiling numerous times, blot it, it should get the stains out. So I've covered the floor and the bed with plastic. Previously on Dexter. And I'm gonna get up on the ladder and spray this with bleach water. So let's see how that goes. but it's not perfect. I might try this again in the future, but I don't know when. The other thought is I could paint the whole ceiling over sometime and make sure that I put down a good primer. I had meant to film this for the video, but it's all right, you didn't miss out on much. This thing was broken off of the blinds and we had it in our junk drawer for the longest time. So I just finally, Got wood glue put on here and I have it kind of held together with a rubber band until it's completely dry. So one more thing off the list. We've got so much dirt on our doors by the handles, so let's take care of that. This always gets black too from these handles. I need to just get different blinds eventually, but that's very low on the priority list. We have bigger and better things to save our money for. Got a little bit better. And I was able to get the black marks off of here. I had to use a magic eraser because that was the only thing that would take it off. end up spilling it. It's not too bad this time. Usually this is caked full of dog hair. This is a Chipotle lid. <laughs> it works perfect for getting under there. So this cabinet has been busted since we moved in. We use this to store our crock pot, but we just pick up the crock pot. We don't slide out the drawer. And I saved this piece so that we could glue it back on. Um, but I'm noticing that probably part of the reason why it broke is because 
it's not on the rails. The wheels don't line up. These are too wide. So I think I'm gonna have to take this whole thing apart and re-drill it in. Oh, I was not looking forward to doing such a big job. I just wanted to be able to glue this back together, but it's gotta get done. Out in the garage, in this cabinet, we've got some Gorilla construction adhesive and some multi-purpose caulk. We had wood glue, but I don't know where it is. It was actually drying out anyway, so this this is gonna be our tool. Let's see if we can do this. Let me get some pliers, pop these out, and then I'll try to glue it on. So what we ended up having to do was unscrew these and put some washers in between the metal and the wood. So that way, these are a little bit wider. My boyfriend came up with the genius idea, and now we are just gluing this piece back. How long does it have to dry? Um, that's a good question. Apparently it only has to dry for 60 seconds. I thought it was gonna be like hours or something. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna leave this here like this, and we'll see you back in 60 seconds. All right, the moment of truth. Look at that. I know that I had talked about recalking this countertop and um, I, I never got around to it, but I'm getting stuff done now. So my plan is to recalk this today. I just talked to my dad, who is a carpenter. We're thinking that something caused this countertop to shift, or maybe the cabinets below were installed unlevel. If you notice, the gap between the backsplash and the countertop slowly and gradually gets bigger and bigger. And back here, it's pretty deep, and then you come along here, and it goes back to normal. So I cleared all of this out and I shimmied my way up here. And I think, and my dad thinks maybe if I can squeeze a thin piece of wood, like a paint stir stick or a tongue depressor back there or back through that corner, perhaps I can get this a little more level so that when I do the caulking, it doesn't look like complete crap. <laughs> I'm going to try this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. If I can't, then I'm going to go to plan B, which is just try to fill it with caulk and hope that it, it looks okay and that it functions okay. Let's see if I can shimmy in here and show you the back corner. So yeah, if I could get some wood in there between the cabinet and the counter, maybe I can level it out. All right, I was not recording when I thought I was. Okay, so I shimmied my tiny little head up there and I inserted some tongue depressors and then a paint stick. I'm gonna try to show you what I did, but I cannot tell where the camera is really recording and if it even looks clear. So I did that on that side and you can tell that the gap is significantly less than on this side. For some reason, I had a hard time getting up on that side where there is no junk than I did on this side where there's all of that. Doesn't make any sense. But anyway, I'm gonna try to get up there on that side and do the same thing with another paint stick and see if we can bridge the gap, if you will. Oh. That's not what, that's not what that means. And then I will caulk the countertops. So I have some bad news. There was a casualty. But the good news, look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh, Dad, I love you. He suggested the tongue depressors. I said, that's a big gap. I think we need paint sticks. We were both right. It's not even because, as you can see, it gaps more in the middle. Now I'm kind of like, is this too much of a gap? No, it's not. Ah, foreshadowing. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, 
Thank you, Dad. I love you. All right, so I cleaned the countertops already, but I'm going to clean them some more. Definitely no procrastinating. To make sure that there's no grease or anything that's going to get in the way. And you know what? I think I actually might take the vacuum and try to suck out some little crumbs in between the cracks there. I see a couple. Not procrastinating. So I'm going to do that. And, um, and then the next step is to take some rubbing alcohol and a white rag and clean it real well, make sure there's no grease, no nothing on there, and then we can get to caulking. So the prep is just as important as the job itself. So, very right back. So not surprisingly, in this corner by the stove, I can feel like grease splatters on the backsplash. I have some Castile bar soap rubbed on here that I'm gonna try. I don't have a degreaser, so wish me luck. It's on the wall too, and so I just wanna clean all of it now. No, 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 no. But I just have to stay focused on the task at hand, right? Yes, that's right. right. It's probably boring watching me scrub, so I'm gonna turn this off. Thanks. Somehow my jobs keep turning into bigger jobs than I anticipated. Um, just um, simply cleaning and caulking my countertops turned into me pulling everything out of the cabinet below, and it just turned into all this. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've got, quite a mess to clean up now. So I need food though. I'm gonna snack on something, and then I will get to caulking and cleaning my kitchen. So while I took everything out, I figured I would work on fixing this. All right, I'm procrastinating clearly. This is our juicer and this always pops out of here. This one stays in place but these two always pop out. So I laid down an old greasy bag and I've got the construction adhesive. This might be overkill. This might not be the right tool to use for this, but it's what I have. We don't know where our super glue went. So I'm using this. My boyfriend said that this construction adhesive was pretty rough. I think it got a little too dried out maybe in our garage. Yep, he had to use a screwdriver to kind of get it out. Oh, it's just destroying the cap. That's that's lovely. Not the cap, the opening. Can I just open this whole thing? This is hard as a rock. Honey, why won't you just let me buy us new ones? This is hard clumps. Why won't you let me declutter this? Oh, please don't explode. Please don't explode. All right, I'm going to declutter this. I know there's another one in the garage, so let me see if that one's better. I totally thought I was recording and I wasn't. Okay, I've got some construction adhesive on here. Fingers crossed this works. It's just little things that have been driving me crazy around the house that I'm trying to take care of. And this is one of those little things. I feel like I've been procrastinating. Do you think? I've done so many other things and I need to just focus on getting this done. So what we need to do now that I have cleaned it with rub and alcohol and I got the greasy bits up. I need to put painter's tape down, then apply the caulk, smooth it out, and then immediately remove the tape so that it doesn't stick because the stuff dries super fast. Worst case scenario is that I have to peel it off and start over, which is not fun. I don't wanna to have to rescrape this, but that's worst case. Uh, that's called foreshadowing. I am not a professional. I have never done this before in my life. There's probably gonna be some guys in the comments section it's like, Mary, you're doing it wrong. That's not how you do it. Well, sorry, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Oh, and yes, my dad said I need to have paper towels handy, so I will do that. The paper towels. 
We've got so many tools for getting these corners. I think that's too thick. This one's too sharp of an angle. That's too big. That might be too big also. I don't know, it's about the same as this. Well, all right. Is this even gonna come out? Oh dear God. Don't tell me this is dried out too. We needed to get more caulk. That's what she said, that's what she said. This is messy. This is so messy. Maybe I have to run to Home Depot. Quick seal, I think it sealed itself. <sighs> I don't wanna go to Home Depot. All right, so I have to get some silicone caulk. I think there's a few other miscellaneous things that I have to get while I'm there. My boyfriend's still sleeping and I need to ask him because there was some stuff that he was ordering and some stuff that we had to go in and pick up in person and I don't remember what. So I have to wait until he's awake so I can talk to him. So we're gonna pause this project. Dear God, while my kitchen is torn apart, I'm gonna go through and see if there's anything that I can declutter because I am low-key doing a declutter challenge right now. <laughs> so um, that will be in an upcoming video, but I might as well go through and see if there's anything we can declutter. Now, there are some things of my boyfriend's that he does not use. He wants them though. I am not gonna declutter anything without his approval. However, this thing, it's like a cheese grater type of thing. First of all, he doesn't grate his own cheese. I do, and I use just the regular cheese grater. Anyway, we had one of these. The amount of effort that went into grating and cleaning and putting this together and then putting it in it back and storing it was just not worth it because it was so little payoff. So little payoff. We decluttered it. Then he got this as a gift from somebody. And because he remembered that he had this once upon a time, he felt like he needed to keep it. He used it maybe once. I'm not gonna declutter it behind his back. I would not do that. However, I think I'm gonna take things like this that he wants but doesn't use and I'm gonna put them in the cabinet above the refrigerator or somewhere that we don't access things. The less stuff that's down there, the easier it'll be for me to access the things that have to go down there. I guess I can pick this stuff up. Put all this here, get that out of the way, put those away, throw this out, and I'll bring you closer. So this, we determined, is going in a different cabinet. These wonton makers. We have nuts crackers and scooper outers. I don't know what they're called. Pumpkin carving and the knife sharpener that went to this thing. I think all of these things um, can go, go somewhere else. Although, you know, this blade sharpener, we do need to sharpen our knives. These I'm gonna put, that's loud. I'm so sorry, I'm trying to be quiet. Put those in there. I can go in another cabinet. This and this I use when I am going to the office. There's another bag too. I use these when I'm going to the office because you guys know I do not dine out. I make all my own food. So I like to have these handy. So I'll keep that here and we'll decide if it's going down here or somewhere else. And the KitchenAid can definitely go down there. The KitchenAid um, stand attachment parts, whatever, can definitely go down here. This one gets used a lot. This we never use. Maybe I should. Oh man, why have I not been using this? Okay, so this goes on top of the thing and then when it's mixing, you can pour ingredients in here and I've been struggling with just getting it in the bowl without making a mess, but I always make a mess. I should be using this. Why don't I? All right, I'm gonna keep this out and remember to use it now. Definitely use that. These two pieces we rarely use, but I guess it would make sense to keep the KitchenAid attachment pieces together, right? Or could these also go in here and go up, up high? 
I don't know. Oh, these are heavy. Okay, my cast iron skillets. I have been using these more. In fact, I just used this yesterday and made myself some really awesome home fries because I am allowed to eat potatoes now. So yay. All right, and I know that I moved this out of this cabinet for me to remember to use when I went hiking. I used it and then I put it down here and I remembered to use it again. It was like I just had to use it the one time to remember that I had it. So this can stay down here, but my boyfriend got me a Camelback. I don't know if you guys know what those are, but it's a backpack that has like a big water bladder in it with a hose that it's like a giant straw. So you can just sip on it as you're hiking. And I have not used it yet. Don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, but if I do like it, then I'm gonna let this go. This I think should go in the garage with our camping stuff because we did say we would use this when we're camping. Um, oh, look you guys. I don't know if you remember my other video where I decluttered and we had some tennis handle tape and I couldn't remember what we bought it for. Hello, it was for this. The handle started coming off of this. That's what that was for you guys. This is gonna go in the garage with our camping stuff. We know for sure that the KitchenAid is going down here because I don't want it out on the counter. I, uh, it's just too much stuff. This is a KitchenAid attachment. It's a grain mill to make your own flour. And um, I did not realize that you cannot use almonds in it. I thought that it would make almond flour with nuts, but you can't because there's so much oil in nuts, especially almonds. So it just caked up in there. So I had to take this thing apart and clean it very detailed. It was a pain. Um, but anyway, I'm going to sell this, attempt to sell it. I'm gonna take pictures of it, post it online, and then I'm gonna put this in the garage with the other stuff that we're trying to sell. And I'm gonna put this inside a baggie so it's clean for whoever buys it. KitchenAid parts definitely can go down here. All right, so I've got the cutting boards there, the rice cooker there, the cast iron skillets there. I've got my KitchenAid there. I've got the KitchenAid stand mixer parts behind that. I think this mandolin would also fit perfectly right back there and then there's the juicer the juicer is another thing that is rarely used I don't like juices I don't they just spike my blood sugar a smoothie I can handle smoothies have fiber so it keeps my blood sugar stable but juicing does not so this might have to go back above the fridge okay so there's the juicer, that other thing, and all this other stuff that we never use, but I'm not allowed to declutter. <laughs> so that's where the graveyard is for all of this stuff. All right, I've got all these, what are they called? Vitamix attachments to fit down here. These all fit in here. So that can go there. Can you see my reflection? Hi. This for when I go hiking. This for when I go to the office, it's much better than it was before. I wish I took a before, but if you can imagine, everything was filled up right to the edge here. That juicer took up so much of that space. That blue crate container thing with that cheese chopper was up there. So everything was just like jam packed in here. And I didn't actually declutter anything, did I? I think I just moved stuff around. So this knife sharpener is actually pretty cool. Um, basically, you just run your blades through this part a couple times and then finish off a couple runs through the ceramic side and it just makes it awesome, I guess. So I sharpened a couple of my knives. At first, it would just kind of rub up against the page, but now you can see it just slices right through it. Yeah, let's try this one. Mm. See, it just did this little dent. That's it. So, yeah, that's pretty good. That's awesome. Andrew's sister and brother in law got this for us along with this thing. And obviously, we are just now using this 
and it works great. So thank you guys if you're watching this. I really appreciate it. I don't know why it took us this long to use it. Um, we had been taking our knives to Williams Sonoma <laughs> to have them sharpen them for us. We have one of those rod knife sharpeners too, but I think this is going to be the default one that we go to. It seems to work pretty awesome. So I think I'm going to run to the Home Depot and get some white paint so that I can paint some, touch up some areas around some doors and um, baseboards and things. And also I wanted to get some soil because we have this. You guys may have seen this in a previous declutter video, but this my boyfriend actually did not want to get rid of. As long as it's getting put to use, there's no shame in keeping it. I just didn't want it sitting in the garage forever. It was just sitting out there collecting dust. So I was like, if that's the life it's gonna live here, then we need to just let it go. But we decided we're gonna use it. I thrifted this a while back and it has a crack in it, like a very tiny micro crack. But I thought this would be the cutest little planter. So I put some of my succulent cuttings in here and they've been doing great. I'm gonna see if I can get some cuttings off of a few different ones, just have a variety in here. Got all my little succulents happening. Something bad is gonna happen. Well, I just dropped it on the floor. So that's not getting transplanted. I'm gonna go to Home Depot, get replacement ones of these, cause these broke. And no, this video is not sponsored by Home Depot. I don't want to go to Home Depot. I just happen to have a lot of stuff that I need from there. peeled up the caulking that I did. I got a different kind. We were afraid that the kind that I got before was not the right kind because it wasn't technically caulk, but I redid it with a different kind. It still worked pretty much exactly the same, but that's not the only reason why I pulled it up. There was a gap still. Remember when I was foreshadowing? In some spots, and I have since sealed up those gaps as best as I could anyway. I just decided that I was going to get underneath all the cabinets and insert some tongue depressors to raise it up a little bit so that we have a more even, less gappy countertop. And I think it looks a thousand times better. Well guys, this video is getting a little too long. For the sake of saving time, I'm going to split my home projects into two videos. I hope that I motivated some of you to tackle those projects that have been put on the back burner. And if you're on top of your stuff and you have no tasks left undone, I hope you at least enjoyed watching me struggle with mine. If you liked today's video, please be sure to give it a like and a share as it really helps the channel. Thanks for stopping by guys, I appreciate you.